This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the eHealth Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. Today on the program, we're speaking with Floriana Abramovich, the founder of Seed Botanic, which is a brand that focuses on carefully selecting ingredients that promote healing, calming, regenerating, and anti-inflammatory benefits. Seed Botanic will help you on your journey to heal and repair your skin barrier, leaving you with healthy and nourished skin. And who wouldn't want that? And Floriana, thanks for joining us here today. It's so amazing to be here. Thank you so much, Eric. Well, you're certainly more than welcome and really appreciate your time as well. So for starters, tell us, Floriana, why is skin care so important to our health? Well, look, skin is one of the biggest organs in our body, and we typically focus on healing things internally. We take supplements, we take, um, we are careful with what we eat and put into our bodies. And sometimes the exterior is something that we neglect. And so some of us suffer from dry skin, some of us have um, ailments like eczema, rosacea, and some of us are dealing with acne, or some of us just have normal, calm, quiet skin. And, And I think when I first started the journey of creating Seed Botanic, it was really about healing my own skin. Um, I had horrific cystic acne when I was a late teenager into my 20s and even into my 30s. I had very bad acne and I thought it was all topical. And so I was using really harsh ingredients to help heal all the breakouts that I had. And it turns out it was internal. And so I started focusing on healing my gut and eating better and really watching my diet and it started affecting the outside. And so when I created Seed Botanic, I wanted to make sure that I was really using ingredients that were calming, nourishing, had anti-inflammatory benefits. So everything that I was doing internally, I was also doing topically um, because it all it's all symbiotic. It all really works together. And so seed really answered that need that I had that I craved um, to help my skin kind of on its healing journey. Well, it certainly makes a lot of sense why you created Seed Botanic and uh, congratulations on all your efforts and the impact that you're having in the space as well. So another question for you, what is a fast acting product in skincare? Get into that. Well, I think fast acting products are those that have very high actives And that's something that you need to be cautious of. Um, I think everybody loves products that are miracle workers, um, something that delivers results overnight. Um, So exfoliating products, retinol inclusive products. And what I've learned over the years of using those types of products is they actually do a little bit more harm than good. Um, Because fast acting products, what they do is they speed up your cell regeneration and it can over exfoliate, over stimulate and actually cause your skin barrier to be damaged. And that can cause inflammation, redness, breakouts, um, fine lines to be more uh, apparent. And so when you're using a fast acting product, you always have to make sure that you're balancing it with very nourishing and calming ingredients, which, which I think some people don't do. And so they go down this rabbit hole of trying to get something that is a miracle worker that's overnight that's 48 hours you'll see a difference and then a week later they'll they'll see some things popping up like i just mentioned the redness breakouts or uh, dry patches and then they're not sure what to do so they go back to that fast acting product to see if it can heal that and so the cycle begins of you trying to mitigate a situation that you actually caused with these fast acting ingredients and so when i created seed It's the formulas are really meant to help your skin thrive over time. And so they're not fast acting, but what they will do is they'll help your skin find that balance, um, repair that skin barrier that was damaged by fast acting products. And over time, what you'll see is your skin just feels more uh, plump, more juicy. It bounces back quickly. Uh, breakouts end up healing faster so that when you do use a fast acting product, um, your skin won't freak out on you overnight. 
Thanks for the feedback there. That is most helpful. Now, here's a question for you. What ingredients can help with inflammation of the skin? I'm sure listeners that have had that experience or are currently having that would love to hear some details on that. Um, I'm a huge fan of aloe. I think um, it it even dates back to my childhood. Anytime you ever have a sunburn, you'll always like, uh, my parents always had an aloe plant or some kind of aloe gel on hand to place on the burn. Um, bug bites also aloe is amazing for. And so I kind of grew up with aloe and aloe is the base of our serum, our protect barrier serum and other ingredients like turmeric, um, witch hazel, um, butters like kapwasu butter, oils like um, Brazil nut oil, all of these ingredients really help to um help your skin deal with redness, puffiness, and anti-inflammation. There's also beautiful mushroom extracts that really help with inflammation. And so all of those ingredients can be found in our serum. Really appreciate your joining us here today on e Radio. We're speaking with Floriana Abramovich, the founder of Seed Botanic, which is a brand that focuses on carefully selecting ingredients that promote healing, calming, regenerating, and anti-inflammatory benefits. And she's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's health news and skincare channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, continuing on, how can internal stressors affect our skin? Talk to us about that. Oh, goodness. Yes. Stress causes um, immense, I don't like to use the word damage, but it does, it causes a lot of stress on your skin externally. So um, not getting enough sleep, can cause dullness in your skin. It can it can cause darkness under your eyes to be a little bit more relevant uh, prevalent, and stress can release unnecessary cortisol into your body, which um, uh, can affect how your skin responds to breakouts. It can actually cause breakouts um, more than usual, and not exercising or not giving your body um, endorphins. So all of those things cause almost like a perfect storm. When you have, when you experience stress, your body just kind of always shows on the outside what's happening. And I always like to focus when I do use my products on bringing a moment of calm into your life. I'm a mom of three. uh, I'm a busy woman at home and I don't have the luxury of a long winded meditation sessions or skincare routines. And so whenever I apply my cleanser on my face, I always try to breathe in and breathe out. Um, focus on myself, focus on my fingertips, melting the cleanser under my skin, and really trying to calm my mind and my body. And when I started doing that with my products, it really helped bring luminosity to my skin. It really helped me not to develop breakouts outside of my traditional like hormonal um, monthly breakout schedule. And so internal stressors always, always show up on your skin in in many different ways. Floriana, one last question before we conclude today's session of eHealth Radio. What tip would you give to someone who is trying to improve their skin health? I always ask what products they're using. And one of the biggest things I always hear is they're not cleansing their skin properly. One of the biggest things that we um, miss out in our skincare routines is not properly washing our faces. And at night, uh, the reason I created our Lift Balm Cleanser is to really just remove all of that excess oil, makeup, dirt, grime that you've kind of accumulated, your skin accumulated over the day. And it gets rid of all of that without stripping your skin. And it leaves it so juicy and plump. You don't even need to do a second cleanse afterwards. You can if you'd like. Um, But that prep really helps all of the other ingredients that you're going to apply to your skin. They're just going to work harder. They're going to absorb better. They're going to work harder for you. And your skin by the, by morning will just feel and look so much better. Um, when you go to bed and your skin isn't properly cleansed, your pores are going to get more clogged. Um, breakouts are going to start popping up. And you're just going to feel like you're in this cycle of trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and all you're really doing is not cleaning your skin properly. So anytime anyone is starting on a skincare journey, I always tell them, make sure you're properly cleansing your face at night. In the morning, you can use a cleanser. Or you can just splash your face with a little bit of water. Um, 
the cleaner your skin feels, uh, the better everything else will penetrate and work for you. Floriana, we really appreciate your joining us here today and for what you do in the space on behalf of Seed Botanic. Where can listeners check out what you're offering there at Seed Botanic and also make purchase of your products, some of those mentioned here today? Of course, yes. Uh, People can visit www.seedbotanic.com. We're also on Instagram and TikTok. Our handle is Seed Botanic. Um, Feel free to visit. We have testimonials on our website. We have videos of how to use our products properly to really get their utmost benefits. And there's also um, information on our ingredients and why we chose the ones we did. Um, I'm really incredibly proud of the two products we have. And we have other products in the works, which I'm so excited about releasing in the next year. Um, It's really been quite a journey. I bet it has, and keep doing what you're doing. We're certainly appreciative. Again, folks, for more information, it's seedbotanic.com. Of course, this link will be included within the show notes of this broadcast. Floriana, all the best, and thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And the pleasure certainly has been all ours. Again, we've been speaking with Floriana Abramovich, the founder of Seed Botanic, which is a brand that focuses on carefully selecting ingredients that promote healing, calming, regenerating, and anti-inflammatory benefits. And for all the details, once again, and to shop around, visit SeedBotanic.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the eHealth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.